I'm Adam Anshell for Pro Football Weekly, along with senior editor Eric Edholm. We're looking at the different quarterback situations around the league that need some help. And this time it's the Tennessee Titans. We know they drafted Jake Locker. May not be NFL ready quite yet. Vince Young's likely gone. Kerry Collins may be gone. We saw Rusty Smith a little last year. Not sure that's the answer. Do they start Locker right at the beginning or do they go and get someone? Yeah, as much as I love Rusty Smith and, uh, you know, <laughs> he might be a nice guy to have in the back of your roster, they've obviously got some decisions yeah. to make here. The first one is do they release or trade Vince Young? Can they get anything for this guy? There was the Redskins rumor. I suspect that was more of an agent-driven thing. I, I don't really see that as a destination. He'll go somewhere, but I suspect they're just going to have to cut him. I think the safest play, with all the Matt Hasselbeck rumors out there, why would you trade Hasselbeck for Kerry Collins when Collins knows the offense? Mike right. Munchak has said it's going to be the same system as last year with a few tweaks. He's 38 years old and he's less injury prone than Hasselbeck. Keep Kerry Collins on board and then start Locker when you're ready. That seems like the most fail-safe plan of all. I mean, is Kerry Collins, he's, he did play that well last year. The year before he did, I mean, we saw him in re, when he replaced Vince Young at times, he did play well. But if they think that they have a chance of winning now, is he going to really work? You know, the year they won the division a couple years ago, he only threw 12 or 13 touchdown passes. He was a game manager. I mean, they got by with him, and they ran the ball with Chris Johnson. That's what they do best. So, yeah, I think they can kind of hold serve with him and then decide and make the decision midseason. You don't have an offseason, so Jake Locker's going to take a little longer to learn. If he's ready by week eight, throw him in there. If he's not ready till the end of the season, give him a few looks then. But I say go with Collins and, and keep Rusty Smith as your third. Do you see Locker as a guy that could contribute in his rookie year? You know, he's got the, the characteristics that you want in quarterback. Tough, smart, willing to go out there and sacrifice his body. And they have a pretty good offensive line, too. He's got the athletic skills to do those bootlegs and rollouts that they want to run. I think he's going to be really good at handing off. I just don't think he's going to be able to complete enough passes to be an effective NFL quarterback right away. No, no chance that he can step in and be anything more than a 50% passer as a rookie. I mean, it seems like we've seen that, though. You have a good running game. I mean, do you really need a great quarterback? If you can get by with run, if you run it 30, 35 times a game and you need to complete, you know, 50% of your passes, can you get by like that? Think about what they have at wide receiver. They've got Kenny Britt, who, you know, we were talking about Brandon Marshall in another video. Here's another guy who's just cloaked in trouble. Yeah. We don't know what his future in Tennessee is going to be. After that, it gets really dicey. Nate Washington, Justin Gage, Le Le you know, Lavelle Hawkins, Jared Cook might be an emergency tight end, but he's far from the number one target. So that means eight, nine guys in the box completely battering a 190-pound running back. I just don't see it. Well, you got Randy Moss. He'll take care of everything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't think Randy's going to be back in Tennessee. Yeah. I just don't see it. It's not in the cards. Very memorable yeah. six or eight games Ooh. or whatever with the Tennessee Titans. I think we'll all remember Randy <laughs> in a Titans uniform. That is a look at the Titans quarterback situation. What do you think? Should they go with Kerry Collins, just start Locker from the beginning, or pick someone else up? Let us know what you think. Go to our Facebook page or go to Twitter. You can always check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.